Cause your body's gonna rock just like a chemical Makes you bouncing around the block just like an outlaw We're gonna take it to the top, 12 o'clock yeah. Guess who's on the night shift Cause the night Shadow here, and welcome back to Crush Crush for real this time. Last time, I barely even remember what happened. Well, we had well, we had our way with Copernicus. <laughs> no, we saved the world. But anyways, so a lot has happened since then. A whole lot of pinups, rewards. I'm in the middle of this one right now. However, we also have a new character added. And as you can see, I became a grave digger. But before we get to that, you might notice some stuff is off. Well, that's because. Long story short, I actually went back and I did one of the achievements again. I sacrificed myself to save the world, and I actually saved it. So, I actually have this out of the way now. But as a result, I am pretty much kind of depowered. Which I'm not used to. And there she is. So I have all the Monster Girls done. But, obviously, these two are missing. Daria is at the Sweetheart level. And Karma and Sutra are still somewhere. Uh, let me see, what does it have to say? Oh, look at that. Oh, so it's a new job. Well, this is new. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> Gravedigger, Cemetery Dredger, Burial Builder, Cemetery Settler, The Crypt Keeper. Alright, I'm the Crypt Keeper! <laughs> oh man, why am I so happy about that? Okay, well... I'm going to guess this has to play into our new girl here, whose name is Charlotte. Not to be confused with any other Charlottes. Did you come for business or pleasure? One of which who also happens to be blonde. Anyways, let's get into it. Okay. One day, while digging around in the creepy cemetery, which is its official name, I guess, you get sort of bored and start practicing your baton twirling with your shovel so you can make it into the next marching parade. Things are going spectacularly until you attempt a Front side figure, either reverse flash pinwheel, fumble the toss, and mysteriously creepy crypt crushed. You destroy the seal on a creepy crypt, revealing a rather pale gothic girl complete with a suspiciously unsettling doll. So she's like Lulu from Final Fantasy X. Well, except, well, what am I saying? Go play Final Fantasy X if you want to get it. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay. I don't know if it's just me, but that sounded a bit quiet. I believe I have the voice all the way up. Okay, so... We have apparently disturbed her living burial. Please tell me you intend to follow up your grave crushing with a bit more weight. I'm not some one night tragedy kind of woman. Alright. And apparently now I'm a mausoleum maker. And no, I'm not that kind of guy, so no worries there. Excellent. I'd hate to waste good funeral attire. Alright. Ugh, the world. So what exactly is your plan here? Do you just walk around graveyards for fun, or do you have more nefarious purposes? Um... I don't know. 
Well, at least I'm not like Mr. Krabs and I'm digging around for rare soda drink hats. And... What is Cassie doing in the hospital? Cassie, what have you been doing? Okay. Both? Neither? I don't know. Me? Really? Hmm. Maybe there's more to you than meets my eye. Maybe. I'm so grumpy. What disappointment are you bringing me today? Oh god. <laughs> okay, let's see. Alright, well I guess... Um... I guess we'll give her some earrings. She wants 666 of them. Next time you want to give me something like this, smash it first, maybe? Um, okay. <laughs> Take notes. Give her smashed earrings. Because she apparently likes that. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop at 600 for the moment. Because, well, one, I want to talk to her, and two, what the heck is going on here? Pay attention to me or I'll bite you! Okay, well, apparently she got out of the hospital and she's totally fine with it. What disappointment are you bringing me today? Shall I give you despair? Okay. What do you have to say? I'm not from another dimension or a wizard or anything. I'm a regular girl. I wait in line for my tombstones like everyone else. Right. <laughs> so yeah, she's not a wizard or from another dimension. The tarnished lining to all this is making a new enemy. I look forward to being miserable with you. Right back at you. I'm a catacomb crafter. Am I going to become a tomb raider? <laughs> but they do that. I mean, it's kind of... I mean, I... Yeah, it's probably too obvious, but... Well, I don't know. I'm not from another di- The lonely corners of the world mourn your company. Oh, really now? Okay, well, let's take a look at her real quick. So she's got an eye patch. Her bunny's got an eye patch. She has a parasol. And she's got the whole gothic Lolita thing going on. Which is sort of what they said that they were going to do with her. Oops. I'm not from- You fill my heart with shadows and sadness. Please never leave. Well, wow. That's pretty deep. Well, in that case, I shall continue to bury you in despair. An umbrella is a necessary fashion accessory. And not because of its affiliation with a certain multinational corporation that I deeply admire. If that's a reference to something, then I don't get it. <laughs> what multinational corporation is she talking about? Oh, what am I doing? Your fingers fill me with mess. How could you? It's like you don't know me at all. Unhand me, you beast. Unhand me, you beast! Okay, uh, is that all she has to say? Oh. Okay, the answer is yes, that is all she has to say. You're a little too bright for my tastes, but let us see some proper darkness in your soul, so I'll trust her. Alright, then by the power of the darkness in my heart, I now pronounce you my girlfriend. Okay, no, that's too soon. <laughs> She does look pretty cute, though. Oh, I never even checked her stats. Let's see, age 19, December 21st. So she was born on End of the World Day! If you don't get the joke, well, I'm sorry. You must be too young, then. Coffins, B+, Gravedigger, Squid Ink Soup, Enchanted Scarf. Oh boy. Those dratted enchanted scarves. Mortician, mysterious, rocking a bee cup. Who? Lilith, my bunny! 
so insensitive. Perhaps she's right about you after all. Yay, I'm a jerk. All right. Mother of Crows is a little on the nose, don't you think? I prefer more subtlety to my darkness. Why is it called a murder of crows? It's like, today I saw a murder of crows. Uh, let's see. 600 cake. Well, 666 cakes. Next time you want to give me something like this, smash it first, maybe? Okay, so... Apparently she also wants to have smashed cake. And we are her acquaintance now. Anyways, I'll be right back. How could you? It's like you don't know me at all. Okay, well she doesn't really have much of anything new to say. Crows are classic foreboding creatures, but nothing's more cute than the malevolence of a spider, don't you think? Oh boy, not spiders. Well, yes they are, but... Fun fact for you all, I hate spiders. If I see one, I will either try to crush it to death or run away, depending on where I am and where it is. And I don't know, what about ravens? They're kind of up there with crows. Well, never more. Great! My friends Itsy and Bitsy would agree with you! Oh good, she has friends. Spider friends. <laughs> okay, well... Quick, rats or bats? What's your favorite? Mine's chocolate. <laughs> okay, well... Alright, well... Well, I guess if I had to choose... Bats. I'll go with bats. Okay, and she wants to go... On a moonlight stroll. Well, in that case, I'll be right back. Okay, well, she looks pretty nice here. And I have to say, she looks pretty good under the pale moonlight. Say, have you ever danced with the devil under the pale moonlight? Okay, well, <laughs> I'm just quoting a bunch of random snuff today. What a lovely date. Though I was hoping, with the full moon, that we might get mauled by a werewolf. Hey Cassie, you hear that? Next time we're on a date... Oh. <laughs> I still don't know what to make of that theory that she's secretly a werewolf. Alright, well... Now to get her... 666 tea sets? I have to admit, this is adorable! It's so unsettling! Really? What's wrong with it? Other than it being adorable. Well, either she doesn't want it to be smashed this time. Because, I mean, really, smashing all these tea sets? Okay, well, she probably has to say something new by now. You know, if Quill is looking for a place to live, I always have space for cats that wear black. Good to know. Hey Quill, did you hear that? Okay. Although that is something I wonder. Where do they live? Any of them. Is this eye patch dark and brooding enough? I'd hate to be mistaken for a pirate. Though I can appreciate a good shark and prank motif. Okay. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say she looks like a pirate. Yeah, I wouldn't say she looks like a pirate. And so, she appreciates a good shark and plank motif. How about doctors? Yar, I be a doctor. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That was from some from... That's from some random Family Guy episode I'm remembering. You know... There's nothing more tragic than getting stabbed in the back by a friend. That's why I try to make as many as possible. Also, I brought you this knife. <laughs> okay. So essentially, she likes getting stabbed in the back by friends. Well, to be fair, despair and suffering is probably her motif that she gets off of. 
And also, yay, now I can give this to Yuri. Is this? I bought a new chair for my place. All the bells and whistles, black leather, built-in massager, and 10,000 volts. Wanna come over and try it out? Hmm. I think you might need to turn it up. Is anyone out there? Okay. <laughs> yeah. In case, yeah, an electric chair. Don't misunderstand me. I want to find love as much as the next person. But I don't want to be happy about it. That would be... weird. Okay, so what if you found a tragic love story? But then how would that work? Hmm. Well, I suppose you could be happy for a little bit, and then you lose that person forever. <laughs> Your fingers feel like a pair of furry little spiders. Creepy! Do it again! I mean, she said to do it again. I haven't decided whether you're intentionally depressing or accidentally cute. The contradiction is so... nutty. Oh my. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say to that. Intentionally depressing or accidentally cute. Hmm. Okay, well I think that's all she has to say. Alright, we're in the friend zone. I'm not even reading those anymore. Friends cover for you, but best friends help you bury the body. Are you in? <laughs> oh man, this reminds me of some kind of saying I heard once. I believe a friend of mine told me once, like, a good friend will be there to get you out, but a true friend will be right there next to you saying, dude, we're totally screwed. You bet I'm in. Oh good! Lilith is no help whatsoever with a shovel. Okay, I'm pretty handy with a shovel, apparently. Destruction is beauty. Clearly, you are wrecking me. Okay, well... <laughs> oh man, there's so many things I could say to that comment. Uh, let's see, you want 666 pairs of shoes. Why does that not surprise me? This is great! But... If you don't mind, I'm going to pretend it's nothing, so Lilith doesn't feel replaced. <laughs> well, how would she be replaced with 666 pairs of shoes? Oh well, I guess I'll never know. Okay, and now she wants to go to the beach. Okay, apparently there's some kind of weird tentacle monster out there. I'm just not supposed to. Also, what happened to Mr. Crab? Where is Mr. Crab gone, Charlotte? Did Mr. Tentacles over there eat him? Meanwhile, Lilith's just kind of standing, or sitting there, staring out into the horizon, probably contemplating the meaning of life, and what it is our purpose being here. Anyways. I think Lilith has a crush on those massive tentacles. She loves being squeezed. Oh boy. <laughs> I do not want to go there. Well, whatever floats her boat. I'm strongly considering giving you my heart. The only question is, do I wrap it in paper or plastic? Plastic. I just love how pale you are. How do you keep such a marshmallowy complexion? I play World of Warcraft, and never come out. <laughs> well, I mean, that is one way. Just stay out of the sun as much as possible. I'm thinking of throwing a murder mystery party, but cleaning up the bodies is so much work. I mean, only if you really go all out on it. I've been invited to a magnificent honor. A witch's barbecue! Would you like to come? I'm bringing steaks! Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm bringing steaks. Are there gonna be vampires there? Well, anyways. I'm thinking of throwing a med-
Being cute and macabre is like pineapple pizza. Complex flavor profile that not everyone gets. I'm glad you do. I don't really know the whole thing about pineapple pizza, but let's not tell her that. My favorite plant? A Venus flytrap, of course. Alluring, obvious, and unbashedly deadly. Huh? Yes. <laughs> Your fingers feel like a pair of furry little spiders. Would you like to see my guillotine? I just bought a new basket for it, with a cute red bow. Really? Why does the basket have a bow? Okay. Does the guillotine have the bow or the basket? I'd love to meet the chef who invented pineapple pizza. What a deviant. Okay, I'm starting to see a running theme here. <laughs> Apparently she likes pineapple pizza. Well, in that case, I'm really not telling her that I don't get it. Huh? Okay, this is going to be the last of the shoes. Don't think she has anything else to say. My morose morsel of a marshmallow. I think I'm falling for you. Are you falling too? Yes. I'm falling deeper and deeper into despair with you. Oh, wonderful! I do hope it's a long drop with a sudden stop. Okay. <laughs> Destruction is beauty. Clearly, you are wrecking me. Okay, it looks like... I may be at a stopping point. At the very least, I can't really do that yet unless... Well, I don't know. Uh, let's see, I guess I'll just start by giving her the necklaces. Wow! You see the Grim in the most unique places! Why, thank you. I mean, I do try. Okay, now she wants to go sightseeing 666 times. Okay, well... And look at those leaves. Such a deep crimson. Well... And... Alright, well the black hole... I technically haven't gotten rid of it yet. I was about to say, why is that still there? Alright, because I reset time. I did a Bites the Dust though. All those leaves sacrificed to the uncaring wind. Would you sacrifice me like that one day? It depends. But if I knew that it would make you happy, or at least make you fall deeper into despair, then yes. And what is it with me in despair now? <laughs> Paper or plastic? If you're going to tickle me like that, I would prefer if you tied me up first. Oh, I see. She's into that. So yeah, apparently she's into that. Okay, well, this video's been going on for quite a while, and... I mean, I'm almost to the end with her, but I won't be until I get this. And even then, I'm still trying to more or less play catch-up to more or less where I left off. But anyway, so I guess next time on Crush Crush, we are going to continue to romance our beloved gothic beauty, Charlotte. So, I will see you guys next time. Please.